Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. A lot of you guys give me a call and ask me a little bit more about e-volt cars or electric charging stations for cars. Uh, residential, of course. Um, basically, here's a Chrysler minivan right here. Pretty sweet looking car, it's a hybrid. Um, it takes basically a 30 amp plug. It's a three wire connection and it's an SR650. Uh, I see it looks like one of those kiln plugs upside down had the ground up So we went ahead and wired that for them today And then uh, got in a 50 amp for the Tesla as well and we had to mud this and get that cut in We wanted that piped uh, That's in a three-quarter inch six gauge for a Tesla 50 amp Coming up here and that's going to be a four wire NEMA 14-50R. So this is 50, that's 30. Uh, price difference, yeah, that was just cut straight through the drywall, put an enclosed box, very nice surface mounted. Had to scoot it to the side. Had to scoot it to the side because of the fact that I had to get the panel off and get the three quarter in. And then this, because she's charges here and then the Tesla they wanted here. We could have gone up and over a lot more bends. So they decided that this would be a better bet. Um, a lot of you want to know pricing on that, so I try not to price online um, because everything's a bit different. But this is a very clean garage. It's a new panel, new service. House is three years old, 200 amp service. Definitely can support the 30 and the 50 amp. I uh, did tell them to charge on and off away from each other like that. But uh, sometimes if it's popped through the, 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 the panel and mounted like that, we typically can be around five to 550 on that. And as far as piping it, we can be anywhere from 18 to $25 a foot, depending on where it goes outside, inside, depending on height, depending on angle of bends, as well as how full your garage is. Um, this unit right here for Siemens is basically outside mounted and it is in a dry location and then the Tesla here is of course can be either as well. The Tesla he's going to use to plug in is going to be this guy and it does have an adapter piece that it plugs into so he'll no longer have to tug, plug here and he'll go to there. Tesla is going from what I heard because my neighbor works for Tesla that the capsules are gonna be more of a unit they're gonna sell no longer much of these adapter pieces. Um, I think it's probably because of connection and how strong that connection can be. The uh, Tesla capsule does go up to 80 amps and so that's gonna take a different type of wire. So keep that in mind in Article 625 where we have to wire those. Those are gonna be based on 125% of your wire size at 80 amps. Uh, you'll probably be pulling some number four, probably above that possibly. Number four is at the minimal to run that. And that's going to be in a one inch EMT or use some TC cable such as we do. But you're not allowed to use SER uh, aluminum four wire on those. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully it helped you out. Again, here's a view of a three car garage. Pretty clean, nice, uh, nice bending underneath the steps and all that, how it turned out. He'll be tickled tonight when he's all done. And oh, by the way, it won't take him 14 hours to charge. It'll take him about mm, three. Thanks for joining us, guys. Have a good day.